Vic Crew, welcome back to another video. I'm sorry for such a late upload. The last time upload was almost a week ago, and as you guys can see, this is the reason why. The past couple days, we've had a huge snowstorm, and we're supposed to be getting another huge snowstorm in a couple of days. So I don't want you guys to think that I'm not uploading because I don't want to. It's just the weather has not been cooperating. The last past two days, Saturday and Sunday, have been pretty good, sunny like this. Uh, that's why I'm out here making a video now, but I just want you to know that that's the reason why I haven't been uploading was because of the weather, the snow, where we live. It could be nice like this one day, and then the next day it could be a snowstorm, a rainstorm, and it's just really, really bad. So, I have been filming my Airsoft games. I've been going every single Saturday, and I know you guys don't subscribe to my channel for Airsoft, but as I said, I wanted to try to expand my channel. So, when it snows like this, or I don't have a video to post in a week because the weather's just crap all the time, I'm going to be uploading airsoft uh, games that we play indoors, so I think that'll be something cool that you guys would like to enjoy. Um, but uh, yeah, as you guys can see by the title, we're going to be talking about what is the best years to buy a Crown Vic. That's probably the number one question you guys ask me. What is the best years uh, for Crown Vic, and what are the years that aren't so good? What years should I go for? What years should I stay away from? So um, everybody has their own opinion. Uh, I remember a couple of videos ago or back. Um, I said that the 2003-2004 Crown Vics are known to have a lot of issues, um, and that's with a survey i seen. Out of, I believe, 530 people took that survey, and they said that 2003 and 2004 had the most problems, and 2000, I believe it was 6, 2010 and 2011 were the best or top three, 2010, which is mine, being number one, and then 2008, I think, was like second, and then 2011 was third. Um, but everyone has mixed opinions on that, you know, some people own 2004s and haven't had any single issues with it, so it's kind of hard to, um, to pinpoint, you know, the worst years and the best years, but uh, I'm going to give you guys kind of a general idea. I apologize right now for the wind, I'm sorry if you guys hear, uh, you know, a lot of wind because it is kind of windy, but anyway, um, my personal opinion, if you guys are looking to buy a Crown Vic Police Interceptor, what I would look for personally would be 2008 and up. When I was looking for my Crown Vic, that is what I was looking for, 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011. Um, I just wanted something newer. That's just my personal preference. Uh, in my opinion, I do think the newer Crown Vicks are, you know, better just because they're later models and, you know, anything that Ford had issues with the earlier models, they had a chance to fix and correct in the later years. Um, so if you are looking for a Crown Vic Police Interceptor, I would definitely go from 08 and up, um, maybe even 06 and up. Like I said, again, just because they're a little bit newer, um, but I mean, all the years for Crown Vicks are, they're good. I mean, some had issues, like I said, again, I would still personally stay away from the 2003 and 2004 Crown Vicks because I've just heard a lot of bad things about them. And I know you guys are going to comment in the comments, well, I have a 2004, I don't have any issues with it. I have a 2003, I don't have any issues with it, blah, blah, blah. You're just an idiot, you're just a hater. No, I'm not. That's just what I've heard from people in the Crown Vic community and through this, uh, these surveys. If I can find the website where I found the survey, I'll put it up uh, on the screen. But um, yeah, those were like the two worst years for Crown Vic. I'm not sure why, I'm not sure what it was. And a lot of people think, oh, well, 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011 Crown Vic, those might, you know, they have to be more money because they're newer. Not really. Uh, I mean, like I said again, Crown Vic's they're not really that expensive of cars, you know what I mean? The most I've ever seen a Crown Vic was around $8,000, and that was for a 2011 with like 60,000 miles or something like that. Very low in my area. Some areas it's very different, but, um, you know, I don't want you guys to think, oh, it's, you know, I can't look for a 2008. I don't have the money to buy that. It's too new. Crown Vic prices aren't really that drastic, so um, I would definitely take a look at it. If you guys are interested in buying a Crown Vic, I would definitely go with 2008 and up. Um, but don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that, you know, all the other years are crap. I'm not saying that they're completely horrible. This is just my personal preference. I would want something a little bit newer. A little bit newer Crown Vic. Um, and that doesn't mean they're going to have lower miles. That doesn't mean really that they're going to be in better shape or anything like that. I just, that's just my personal preference. I'd rather just have something a little bit newer uh, than, you know, a little bit older Crown Vics. But, you know, some people don't really care about that. Uh, some people don't care about the year. They just want to make sure it has low miles. It's good. It runs good and you know they'll take the the car home also inside as well um 2005 is where they upgraded to this steering wheel which i think is a lot better 2004 models have the older kind of egg-shaped steering wheel this is the newer one so if you want something with a newer steering wheel definitely look for something 2005 and up because that's the ones they're going to have this one right here although like i said again 
yes, the older Crown Vics have the older style grille. Uh, they have the older style uh, steering wheel. But all those things are so cheap and they're so easy to, you know, remove and replace and change up. That's why I love the Crown Vic. Like I said again throughout my videos so many times, I wouldn't buy, I wouldn't not buy a Crown Vic if it had like an older style grill. Like, oh, I don't like that grill. I'm not going to buy it. Because you can literally buy the one I have. Find it at a junker. They'll probably charge you 20 bucks for it. And then boom, interchange them really easy. That's what I love about these Crown Vics. So like I said, again, if the car sounds good, if it runs good, if there's nothing leaking, um, you know, then the year really shouldn't matter. Go for it. I say go for it. If it runs good, it sounds good. Everything checks out. Go for it. But my personal opinion, when I was looking for my Crown Vic, I was looking for something 2008 and newer. That's just my personal preference. Like I said, again, throughout this video, a hundred times. I just wanted something a little bit newer. Um, and then I found my baby right here, a 2010 with 83,000 miles. Currently got 107, just clocked over 107,000. Um, but yeah, so that right there is pretty much it, guys. Um, the Crown Vic body style pretty much stayed the same from 1999 all the way to 2011. So there's not really that big of a difference. Like I said, again, um, the hubcaps, the hubcaps actually go over the whole wheel. The older ones have the older style ones. They have the older style grill. They have the older style steering wheel. Um, the newer ones have all the newer kind of looked ones. Um, but like I said, again, those are so easy, changeable and removable. So that, that doesn't really matter. As far as internal wise, um, the car pretty much stayed the same as well. Like I said, again, the, the newer years, they improved on a lot of the things that went wrong with the older years. That's why I would go with the newer ones. Also, the newer Crown Vicks have a little bit more horsepower. Nothing crazy. Do not say, I don't, you don't know what you're talking about. You're an idiot. No, they don't have that much horsepower. But if you do look up the stats, the older Crown Vicks have like, I think like 20 less horsepower, something like that. The newer ones have a little bit more. Uh, mine has about 265, I believe. Um, well, the older ones have like 240, 250, something like that, 245, something like that, which is not really that big of a difference. But yeah, that's just something to note. And that's pretty much it. So if you guys are looking for a Crown Vic, I'd say right here, 2008 to 2011. That would probably be my personal preference, the notorious preference, I guess you can say. All right, guys. So I remember saying in a couple of videos um, that once we reach 10,000 subscribers, I might do a giveaway, I might do a giveaway, blah, 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 blah. I might do an antenna giveaway. I have officially decided to do a puck antenna giveaway. Um, this is my personal puck that goes on my car, as you guys can see underneath is very disgusting. Obviously, when I give the one away, it will be nice and clean under here. These magnets are super strong magnets. You don't have to worry about this ever coming off. You don't ever have to worry about it, you know, slipping off. I've had these magnets, this on my car for a year straight, and it has never flown off on highway speeds, anything. So these things are awesome. They're also 100% legit as well. I took this off of a junked uh, cruiser, a state police cruiser. So a little piece of history as well will go in your car. And it's just for looks. Um, you could stick it anywhere, anywhere that there's metal. I mean, you could stick it on your hood if you really wanted to, if you're into that. But anyway, I'm going to be giving this away and also a sticker. I'm not sure what this sticker will be yet. Uh, might be my logo sticker or something like that. But um, that will be officially 100% the giveaway. It will be a puck antenna giveaway. I might do two winners. So two uh, puck antennas. I have about seven of them. So two puck antennas, two stickers, two different winners. So the way to enter is obviously you have to be a subscriber. Once we get closer to, to, to 10,000 subscribers, we're still a little far off. Um, I will do a detailed video. Uh, you guys will have to you know share that video, like that video, uh, comment and stuff like that. I will note this though. I do notice when people comment on my videos uh, regularly. So if you comment on my videos regularly, um, let's just say your chances of winning are going to be a little bit higher. So I do notice that. So uh, it will help your chances of winning um, for the giveaway. So um, comment, like, um, just be active on my channel. And once we get closer to 10,000, who knows, you might be uh, the winner. So, right, so that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. I just want to say thank you guys so much for 7,000 subscribers. Uh, like I said again, we're so close to 10,000. That giveaway will definitely be happening. Make sure you guys are already a subscriber. Leave comments. Comment regularly, regularly on my videos. That will definitely help your chances of winning. And I know my car is absolutely filthy. But when you have weather like this and you can't go out and clean it because it's still kind of cold out, don't let the nice weather fool you. It is still cold out. But anyway, yeah, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the support. I do have new merch available, so make sure to go check that out. Uh, I have a new t-shirt that says uh, Cop Chip Equipped. 
obviously that's a joke, but it's a funny t-shirt, kind of a comical t-shirt. Uh, make sure to go check it out, and uh, yeah, I'm going to end the video up here, so make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see all of you guys in the next one.